morning. Um, put you onto the big screen. Whoops. Put you onto the big screen. There we go. And a very good morning to all my subscribers and anyone else who's new to the channel. Thank you for joining. Just zoom out first and we'll zoom in as and when we need to. Oh, well, we're a bit far out there, we could go in a bit, can't we? There we go, I should do. Right, move my cup, uh, which is due to have a cup of coffee put in it at some point. There we go. Now, put this remote on here. There. Right, so what we need to do is unplug the speakers from this because this is all working. This the radio, ra the radio chassis is all working on this now. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at putting this down here a minute. Well, I remove the tape chassis. And I've got to put all the nuts and bolts and stuff to secure all the amp back in. Lovely! Oh. So I'll just put that there for now. Now. So always at this point I say, where's my fucking glasses? So at this point I'm going to say, where's my fucking glasses? Now I brought them in for me, they were in the bedroom and I brought them in with me. That I do know because I had... There they are. Got to be that music sound though. So what we'll do, we'll move all this stuff because we need to all everything back together soon and that's out of it there we go so what we need to do next is bring the top up so i can take the cassette pins. oops so i can take the cassette mechanism out right look at that so we want the cassette mechanism, which should be easy enough to get to. We'll give that a good going over. And it's... The only problem we have here... There we go. All the shit on my bench. And then I'm stabbing myself with a meter lead. Right, so what we'll do, we'll take the... Take the cassette mechanism out. We also need fine screws for this as well. Because the person I bought it from sort of screwed me. They didn't screw me, oh well. It took me screws. I never got me screws. Oops. Put them there for now. Oh, that was. But we need to. I hope I've got some rubber renew left. If I haven't, then we're going to look about ordering rubbers and shit. So there's only two screws in this side, one in that side, so... I mean... We need it so we can get to the plug. 
this should lift out there we are one cassette deck extracted now if that was being thrown in the bin that would be the end of our story but it ain't so what we'll do next we'll bring the chassis back up the bottom half of the cabinet even whoops back up and I just saw all our screws haven't disappeared so what we'll do we'll drop that down the back there for a minute well, there's one we we'll, should have three nuts whoa found one nut so a few bits of plastic and all sorts of shit falling out of it the other two must have fucking dropped down on the floor there but there's another piece of plastic off a cable tie the other two must have disappeared we'll find them like that screw I don't know where that came from. At least I think I do. Yeah, that screw came from there. And that knot. Came from here. And we know that it goes on there. We'll find a tool to wind that on properly after. I think we're, I think we're sort of stuck there, but that's no problem. And if we're going to be down there right in front of where I put that, or oh yeah, where we wound on? Yeah, we're actually on. Tighten that after. You see, the other two are just dropped down here. No, I can't see him. I've had some interest in the HMV record player, so we'll get that measured. The person wants to know the dimensions. I can't be asked fucking about like that, but if it sells it, then I'll give them. You know, if it means it sells it, then I'll, I'll do it, but I don't really like fuck about doing shit like that, measuring things. I like to just say, hey, I right, yours, go. But... That's one of my nuts. But, you know. If it, if it guarantees a sale, then I'll send the extra information. But. Right. One went on the back here. Yeah, one went on the back here. Oh, yeah. 
just secures everything in so that way you know when we you know when we're working on it right when we're working on it everything's secured then isn't it I mean Uh, well, I'm going to leave it as it is because it's secure now. We know the M chassis is going to fall out. What we'll do, we'll plug our. We'll, we can now. We can now prop this. What we can do, we can actually plug this unit in in a minute. Just plug the speakers in. If we can find them. Plug the speaker. I've got the original speakers for this. I like to have. I do like to have original speakers for everything that I'm going to sell if I can get them I mean I mean they work with other speakers but it's nice to have the originals like that HMV that's as complete as you'd want with the exception of the cardboard box that it came in right so we're on there we don't need to worry about that, it's just microphone. So what we'll do now, we'll spray the record play switch. The reason why we're doing that is because we can get to it. adjusting the tape speed that's nice it's got onboard regulation for tape speed belt feels good so let's connect yeah you've got onboard regulation for your tape speed that's brilliant nice to see that GEC now this plug goes on that way now if I turn, you might not be able to hear this, so I think that's tape. We'll soon find out. Yep. That is tape. So what we'll do, we'll start. Start by cleaning everything. But I'm not replacing unless I absolutely have to. I mean, I'm not replacing the belt unless I need to because the belt's nice and tight and it feels good. So, clean the heads. Oh, it's too early. There we go, get a lot of crap off them. Yeah, the person I bought this off actually fucked about. Uh, but that's what people do, unfortunately. You know, they fuck about, don't have a clue what they're doing. Look at that fucking load of shit there. Go. 
go. Now what we'll do, we'll clean, we'll put it into play, and we'll clean the pinch roller. We'll use the same cotton bud, it's not that dirty. Yeah, make sure there's no tape in it. Yeah, look at that. Make sure you get all oh, yeah. oh, your... Yeah. The fucking pubic hair under there. Now it's gone into the unit. We'll have to fish that out. Clean the top of the roller. You never know. There it is. Get off. There we go. Right, I think we will use a new one now. I mean, it's Auto stop on this and everything, you know, it's there we go. Look at that, that's the shit coming off. Oh, come here you. That's the crap coming off. Look at that. What happens is, when you buy these things in the manual, it tells you to keep the tape path clean. But the trouble was, no fucker ever did. Is that you? No, I'm there. Yeah, do us a coffee. Is that his dinner? Hey? Has he had his dinner? No, give me his dinner. Yeah, I'll give us your cup. Uh, it's just about time now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, give me his dinner. Feel it, but I could. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the drive belt. Yeah. We can. What we do is just clean the belt. I think the belt might need to be replaced. Clean the pulley, clean the capstan, clean the intermediate pulley. Might have to put a new belt on there, that feels a bit, yeah. Might. But we'll see.
See the problem with putting new belts on is having them. You don't really have good supply of belts these days because the new ones you buy are shit. Well, that feels a lot better. Well, and that is. Now let's see if our wine. Yeah. Let's see how we rewind. I don't know what it was like the other day. I don't know what it was like the other day, so I don't know what it's like now. That's rewinding very quick. A bit more oxide on that pinch roll, that needs a bit more of a clean. But at least anything on that. Well, that's, that's rewinding lovely. Yeah, it was staying lovely and cool. Mmm, that's that's winding nice anyway. Not the fastest rewinder in the world, but it's still, still doing the job. It's not stopping or anything, it is rewinding the speed that you expect. Yeah, that's not bad. Right, what we'll do now, we'll, we'll, we'll turn the tape over, we'll re rewind it back the other way. how it does there's no, no tape counter on this no for nothing no mud cons like that um, no tape counter nothing flashy uh, the cassette decks on these relatively don't really need a lot of attention they only need a clean <laughs> so that's all we tend to give them you know just give them what they need really Give them what they need and, uh, you know, service them up. Make sure that they're good to go. Right, I'm just going to pause the video quickly while I check the azimuth. 
Uh, the azimuth is a process of adjusting. Yeah, we've stopped. But that being said, could be a dodgy part. Could be a dodgy part of the tape. But I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll do. We will replace. We will look at replacing the belt. Uh, that's, <laughs> trying to think where I've got another tape I can try because I know that tape's iffy. Um, trying to think. I mean, there are. Got an empty case there. There's a tape. Joseph Lock. Right, that's about as much for rewind on the other one. Yeah, that's a bit slow. Yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll do the azimuth and we'll we'll put another belt on. We will replace the belt I think. Yeah, so we'll find look for another belt. So the azimuth is adjusted by this screw here and it's a Phillips and it's a small Phillips and I need to find my small Phillips screwdriver to adjust it. Oops, not it. A fucking small fucking Phillips. You know, one where you don't actually have to hand at the point when you need it. There it is, not eight. For fuck's sake, this might do it actually. Will this fit? It only has to fit in the top of the slot. Yeah, then yeah, I'll do it. Right. Right, I'll make the adjustment, I'll be back. So that's how we adjust. That's how, that's, don't look at the state of this place, Chloe. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm in here. You're in here? Yeah, we used to be Laura's bedroom. Jesus, what have you got in here? It's my workshop, I'm just doing this. Have you got any pasta's? Plasters? Yeah. No, I just let. Why would you need a plaster for? Your shoes have rubbed me. No, I just let myself bleed. What? They're not bleeding. I've got blisters. No, that's what I mean. I've not got plasters. I, uh, I, I just let myself you. bleed. Oh, yeah. it's alright. Uh, uh, yeah. Next Saturday at twelve o'clock. Next Saturday. Next Saturday after work. Yeah. 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 Oops. Yeah. Oops. Right, getting back on with it. Getting back on with it. Why are you moving, Chloe? No, Laura's having my mattress. Right. Right, uh, getting back on with this. So basically, the, uh, the azimuth is adjusted by the first screw here. And basically, if you don't have a correct tape, just adjust, uh, which I haven't, just put a non good tape in and adjust for the sharpest you can get on both channels and you know uh, it is a compromise but it, you know you can get it right you can get it acceptable so there we go that's the azimuth sorted out And what another thing we want to do is we want to clean. No. Want to clean our pinch roller again? Oh, I do actually. Get some more of that oxide off. I'm doing a video. Oh, I do. What uh, video? I'm uh, doing doing a video on repairing this music centre. Here, Andy. Yeah. Wow, what's up with it? Doesn't work. Well, it does. It didn't when I got it. So this used to be more of this. I think I remember actually. 
actually, I might have been. Yeah, this is Laura's room when she lived there. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm do, what I, what, I, what I actually do, I do repair videos and put them on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, people can see what I'm doing. So all we're doing there, we're just cleaning the pinch roller to get the oxide off. There's a bit left on from before. Oh. So. Laura, Chloe's going. Uh, Laura's going down the vale with Loretta tomorrow. Are you going with him? Maybe. Not tomorrow. Be. There we go. I like. I've not been down the vale in years, you know. The, the last time I went down, I saw Laura and I threw her in the river. <laughs> no, they fell in, didn't they? And you had to save them. No, I lobbed them in. <laughs> oh. No, no. She didn't tell us that bit. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No, no. What happened was Ellie fell in. Yeah. And then I lobbed Laura in after, and then lobbed the dog in, and then I jumped in and grabbed them all out. She said. Yeah, no, they were, they were, they were, they were in any danger. I wouldn't yeah. Have done that. And what we want to do next? No. There's one in the house. Oh, is there? Look at her encouraging me to drink. She's bad, isn't she? Yeah, I don't drink, you know. It's when's only your birthday? When's your birthday? 25 past 12. I don't drink, you know. Two weeks. I, when, um, May the 7th. So like how old, how old are you now, Chloe? 24 in, if you, uh, in a week and a half. Well, you haven't grown much, have you? You're still stumpy. No. Mm-hmm. Man, the best way to be. You can hide easier. Yeah. You ready then, Laura? I'll go and get Laura up for you. Chloe. Laura. Chloe. Are you got sick or oh, you quit smoking? I don't smoke anymore, you quit Chloe. Smoking as well. No, I don't. I don't smoke. I've gone fat and I've gone. I've gone ugly. <laughs> no, you could have getting old. The same thing. Yeah. I shall see you later, love. See ya. Bye. Later. You too. See you later, Andy. See you later, Christine. Yeah, that was uh, that was young Chloe, uh, one of Laura's. Friends from school. Yeah. Let's turn all this off. And what we'll do next, we'll have a look in our in our belt selection. Disconnect it from the from the socket there. I'm happy that the head's good. I'm happy that the sound's not bad. And even the dog's happy. I'll unplug that for safety. And even the dog's happy that I'm happy. And I wonder if I get in there and change that without change, taking that board out. Well, you get the belt off. All I have to do... Is slacken this. I don't know if I've had the right screwdriver, which I haven't, because I couldn't fucking find a fucking a minute ago to do the azimuth adjustments. There somewhere. So we'll hope this one fits. It doesn't. Right, so. There is a bit of play in that. See, no, I've got to take the board out because there's a screw there. So the board's got to come out anyway, so. Oops. There we go. What? Well, that's fucking, that's clever. So what's that supposed to grip, grip into? I mean, in all honesty, the guy I bought this off has been in it and he, and it feels like it actually, because these screws are loose. So it feels like somebody's been in here before. And that one there's not in position. And that's loose. I mean, somebody's had all this out. I'm glad.
glad I knocked him down or fucking got over. I mean, you get people who fucking. Get down. And. That's got it. We're going to push the fucking button off there. Oh no, it's the pause. So what we do is take this one out. Put that there so we don't lose it. And we might be able to just get the belt because there's a bit of... There's always a bit of clearance, usually, between... So when we get this out here... Nope. Let's try and adjust the... Nope. I won't fit it. See, the problem we've got... Is I need to undo that screw there. Got it. That one there. And I've got it. Managed to do them. So now if I lift that up, that should just come out. There we go. Pop that there a minute. See, that's the original belt, and you can see. So what we'll do, we'll have a look in my box of belts we'll see if we can find something that will work equally as good right what have we got too small and too thick fucking thin well not thin and small they're all small there's nothing in there so nothing in there that will do so we'll put that back so I might be ordering belts I hope not so we, we, we do have one last uh, little, we've got Jay's box here, see if Jay's little Malteser box has got one in. I mean this has been raided so many times, I find it hard to believe that there's a belt in here that would actually do the job, that won't. That's too spooky. That's too fucking thick. For that, it's the right size, but it's too thick. Well, it's actually a bit bigger. No good anyway, it's too thick. Can't use it. So, what we're doing, that's too thin, uh, too big. And that's too. Yeah, them two are too big. Stretched. 
pour them out on, but that's a bit too fucking thick. Too big. So we don't have a belt. Too big. Too big. So we don't have a belt. Oh, we've got one here. What's this one? That's too small. Fucking way too small. Mm. Right. So what we'll do, we'll put these. Mm. That one might do. That might do. It's a bit small. But there again, it's one of the new ones which have too much stretch. So it might do. All I want to do is have some fun. Yeah. 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 So basically we've got the original, which can't do much with because it doesn't work. And we've got this, which is stretchy. But we can try it. So what we'll do, we'll put it under there first. Get it where we need it. So Chloe thinks I'm getting old. I'm not wrong with that. I'm getting old. I don't mind getting old. I don't mind disgracefully. Gracefully, should I say. Uh, that might... That might work. But given... Given that these belts are fucking rubbery... Given that they a bit, um, we'll not put that screw back in there. Yeah, we better add. We better add. Get that in there. Tighten them two back up. Yeah, make sure that one's tight. That's it. Now the now the idea of this is you put that back there. Oops. Try not to scratch the fucking radio dial up. And I'll put the screws in. See the problem with these belts. <coughs> the problem we have with these belts is the fucking. They're not making the belts the same way they used to. I mean, at one time they used to make them and they were pretty good. Nowadays they make them and they're pretty shit. I mean, the belts are crap these days, they're not, not what they used to be. And that's got to go on because that's the ground. Surprised I didn't find a piece of foil under this. Normally, find foil under tape recorders. Obviously, GEC didn't see the need, and I suppose if you make the machine properly, you don't have to. Mm. Now this one here, we 
must just go there like that. There we are. That just hooks into there. Right, well, we'll pop the connector back on. Pop that back into the machine. All I want to do. Well, that's a lot faster on the rewind. That's actually good. That's actually good, it's working. Yeah, that's working well that right now. I will check. The sun is still got some crap on that pinch roller. Yeah. Wind it the other way. Or does the auto stop work? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we love our we love we love our music centres, don't we, folks? Hey, we love our old British music centres. I mean, a lot of them were thrown away because audio files said they were shite. Well, they were they weren't aimed for audio. They weren't aimed at audio files. These were aimed at people who just wanted some sort of a decent uh, uh, way of getting music in their home. And these could actually achieve, I don't know about the cassette decks, but the, the FM radio and the, uh, the record player certainly could achieve 20, tw uh, tw tw 20 I think it's 20 kilohertz. And uh, any anything at 20 kilohertz and above is classed as hi-fi. Well, these were actually hi-fi sound. They weren't bad. I mean, um, I mean, you paid, you, you paid, you paid your, you paid your money. You took all your music centre, and you were dead pleased with it. And then one of your mates who's an audio sort of a file comes in and says, "I oh, want a load of shite," and you immediately go outside to the fucking bin and drop it in or throw it in the council tip, throw it on the tip. 
But if you weren't, if you, if you, but if you weren't stupid enough to believe them, that's to, that mechanism's a lot faster. And I'm gonna check the speed, but I can't do that with the because I'm using a pre-recorded tape. One I know, so I can't do it with the video running. So. Actually, that sounds good to me. Yeah, that, that's okay. I'm happy with that. Sounds about how I would expect to hear that song. Uh, I will double check everything later, and uh, so really. Uh, Really, that's the cassette deck serviced on the GEC, uh, the GEC sound deck. I spelt sound deck with two Ds and it's only with one, I've just noticed. It's sound deck, not sound deck. Yeah, never mind. I'm pretty sure if somebody, somebody's going to ridicule me for that. But you fucking won't because I'm going to change it. So there we go, you see, I'll modify it. And... Uh, I'm um, actually, yeah, that's staying that stay lovely and cool that right now. I'm actually very, very, very pleased uh, with my purchase, even though it came with no screws. Even though it came with no screws, it'd be, it seems so easy to find screws to put in the bottom of that. Even though it came with no screws, I'm still happy with my purchase. Uh, because... Uh, You know, I feel well. I feel. I feel. I feel I'll get. To, I'm hoping. I'm what I'm actually dreading, folks, is some of these some of these GEC speakers. Uh, they had foam cones on them, foam surrounds on the cones, uh, foam out of suspension rings, if you want to call them that. And basically, the uh, over the years, the foam rots. I'm hoping my speakers haven't got foam rot. Well, I was have to put two new speakers in the fucking things, cause I ain't re I ain't reconing them. <clears throat> I don't do recones. I just chuck them away and fucking put fucking new speakers in them. So you know that'll eat into me profit. Uh, unless I've got a pair of eight ohms, I don't really want, and I can nick them out. I can switch them, but we'll see. So what? Let's just recap. Pardon the pun. Right, what have we done so far with this little music centre? Well, so far we've recapped the amp, we've worked on the amp, got them, we've adjusted the quintessence current. Um, how I adjusted that was I connected, I set my meter, on, I put my meter on milliamps, on 400 milliamps, And I had a look at what what it was what what it was drawing, and uh, I just adjusted each channel so they adjusted the, so so they draw the same amount of milliamps on near enough. This one here is drawing a hundred and twelve, I think milliamps, and this one here is a little bit less. It's about 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 eighty eighty three, eighty five, maybe 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 near a ninety, but. You know, uh, we're not getting hot here. We've got no horrible hums. Uh, so I'm happy at the moment to, uh, to you know, I'm, I'm happy at the moment to give it a clean bill of health for a sort of. Uh, I'm going to have my lunch. And then I'm going to uh, double check everything I've done here. I am happy with I am happy with the way this is sounding. This uh, machine sounds really, really nice now, but it sounds nice on both channels. It's um, you know your azimuth is usually is a compromise on both, on these old units because uh, the cassette decks they were hi-fi, obviously not. 
they were uh, they weren't far from it but they weren't there but uh the rest of it was all right <coughs> in in Scraps! So it's basically it's lunchtime and uh, then it's tidy to tidy, get this back into where it belongs and uh, you know I, 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 I think uh, I think it's about right and you know but we'll we'll find out anyway folks I'm going to leave it there thank you for joining me and join me in part three when we work on the auto changer. Bye for now.